What's happening, Nick Martinez, the Keto Dad here, and are you looking for a meal that your whole family will love, something that's super simple, around the holidays, you can make it anytime you want? This ziti with zucchini instead of noodles is delicious, oh. and guess what, the kids, the kids even love it. So you're gonna wanna check this out. All right, this recipe is so simple, it just takes a little bit of prep. You can actually prep beforehand if you want. I've got my uh, zucchini just about chopped up here. I usually cut them into, uh, into slices, I've got one more here. So I cut them into slices like this, and then I just take those and I cut them into quarters. And that makes for really good, what we call ziti noodles. I've also got some onion that I've got chopped up here, like a half of an onion. You don't have to do onion if you don't want to. I just like the flavor in my uh, ground beef. So I'm just gonna get the onion cooked up first, and then I'm gonna add the ground beef for the base of our zoo. We just added our ground beef. We've got grass-fed organic ground beef from Target. Decent stuff, you can definitely get better. I love when I get to go to the local butcher shop and get high, really, really high quality meat. Uh, but we're just gonna brown this up and it's gonna be ready for our ziti. I've got my ground beef and onion all sauteed, ready to go, drained. I'm gonna add my zucchini to it. Now the goal here isn't to um, isn't to cook it up or anything. We're gonna bake it for that. But I'm just gonna mix it around. Let me grab my spoon here. So we're gonna mix it around, then I'm gonna add our pasta sauce, and then we're gonna pour this in and layer it uh, with cheese into our saucepan. It's gonna be delicious, if you can't tell already. So let me add in my marinara sauce. I got Rouse, oh wait, how do you say it? Rouse, I think that's how you say that. It's awesome. If you haven't seen the uh, pasta sauce video I did a few days ago, check it out. Talk about reading labels, talk about just the macros on a lot of the pasta sauce. No added sugar in this brand, which I love, and it's really, really tasty. So we're just gonna stir this up, add in as much as we can here. Okay, we've got everything mixed together. It looks delicious. I'm gonna pour it in two parts in this bowl, or this, saucepan, uh, just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Actually, there we go. Just kind of flatten it out, and then we're gonna layer in our cheese. Maybe just a little bit more. Oh my goodness. Like, if this doesn't look delicious and like what you want to have for dinner, you're missing out. So now we're just gonna layer in some cheese. We've got shredded mozzarella here we're gonna start with. And then you can do cottage cheese. Just check the carbs on cottage cheese. I haven't checked carbs on cottage cheese in a while, so ricotta. I don't remember. And you can also do ricotta, which is what we're going to do today. Ricotta is not too bad. Uh, make sure you get the full fat, not the fat-free kind. Again, you could just skip the ricotta if you wanted. It's not a requirement. I think it tastes amazing. And we're just going to layer this all over the place in here. Okay, we're looking really good here. We got all our ricotta. I'm gonna throw some Italian spices just for the fun of it on here. This is a cool brand. It's called Dax Spices Italian Blast. Check it out. Um, all right, now I'm gonna take the rest of our wonderful goodness and just layer it in here. And I'm telling you, we've got ourselves dinner. Now here's the cool part with this recipe is you can make it beforehand, you can make it a day or two beforehand, you can even make it like a week or two before and just throw it in the freezer, pull it out when you're ready to eat it, and you've got yourself a delicious, delectable dinner. We're gonna cook it in a little bit, you're gonna see how it tastes. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna leave it covered for the first half and then uncover it, just so that the cheese on top just gets melty and, and doesn't burn but uh, super excited to have this for dinner. Okay, I've, <laughs> I'm a little late to the party. I've been eating this for the last 10 minutes and it's delicious. I mean, check it out. Mm. Juliana loves it. What more could you ask for? It's pasta, it's Italian. You can make breadsticks with it if you want and it tastes amazing and it's keto, so. Post a, a picture of what you make in the comments okay. below. We'd love to yes, see it. Yeah. Have yeah, an awesome yeah. day from Nick Martinez to Keto Remember, just keep it simple, keep it fun, keep it keto, and life is good.